just want to talk about two terms. We're going to talk about, we're going to go into some mechanics of valuing things. And there's a lot of confusion of terms that I, I just want to cover quickly before we take a break. And then we'll do an exercise and we come back. Um, enterprise value, okay, of any firm is dependent on the buyer's capital structure to acquire it. And it's independent of the seller's capital structure. Okay, so the enterprise value, if I was looking at a company that I was going to buy, would be, I'd be looking at the cash flow that the company generates, and it's what comes with that are the operating assets of that business. It doesn't count the debt, it's the, the operating assets, okay? Um, it's the value the buyer would place on the business independent of its capital structure. So um, that has nothing to do with the amount of debt that, you know, I'm not assuming the debt. I'm just looking at what the cash, what cash flows are being generated by the operating assets. Okay, so the enterprise value, sort of back in basic terms, is we've got a bunch of assets in the business. We have um, receivables, inventories, we've got accounts payable, we've got all that working capital stuff. We have equipment, right? That's generating cash flow. What is that cash flow generating? That tells me what the value of the business is. That doesn't uh, necessarily mean that's the value of the equity, that's the value of what those, those assets are generating, okay? The existing capital structure of the firm you're looking at determines how much of the enterprise value turns into equity value. So if the enterprise value is $10, but I have $2 of debts, right? Me as the, as the, the holder of the company, if I've got equity, if the assets are worth 10 and I have equity of eight and I've got debts of two, my equity values, you know, I got to take the enterprise value, I got to pay my debt off, I'm left over with eight, okay? And it's a little theoretical, but it's going to play into the example that we're going to do in a minute. So don't confuse terms because they're, they're different. When you think about enterprise value, don't think of equity value. So the way that you would, you would calculate it is when you calculate the enterprise value of a business, you subtract the debt net of the cash. Theoretically, the cash would be available to pay the debt back, right? That's the theory. If you looked at it and you looked at you got all the payables, the receivables, all that stuff you're getting, you'd subtract the debt net of the cash because theoretically you could you net the two, right? You own the cash, you own the debt. So to get from enterprise value to equity value, you got to subtract the company's you know, debts and its cash. Not its debts, meaning liabilities like accounts payable. And we'll show you an example to help you get your head around this a little better 